Reaction engines generate the thrust to propel an aircraft by ejecting the exhaust gases at high velocity from the engine. The resultant reaction of forces driving the aircraft forwards. A turbojet is the simplest of all aircraft gas turbines. It consists of a compressor to draw air in and compress it, a combustion section where fuel is added and ignited, one or more turbines that extract power from the expanding exhaust gases to drive the compressor, and an exhaust nozzle that accelerates the exhaust gases out the back of the engine to create thrust. When turbojets were introduced, the top speed of fighter aircraft equipped with them was at least 100 miles per hour, faster than competing piston-driven aircraft. Below about Mach 2, turbojets are very fuel inefficient and create tremendous amounts of noise. Early designs also respond very slowly to power changes, a fact that killed many experienced pilots when they attempted the transition to jets. The last airliner that used turbojets was the Concorde, whose Mach to airspeed permitted the engine to be highly efficient. A turbofan engine is much the same as a turbojet, but with an enlarged fan at the front that provides thrust in much the same way a ducted propeller, resulting in improved fuel efficiency. Though the fan creates thrust like a propeller, the surrounding duct frees it from many of the restrictions that limit propeller performance. This operation is a more efficient way to provide thrust than simply using the jet nozzle alone and turbofans are more efficient than propellers in the transonic range of aircraft speed and can operate in the supersonic realm. A turbofan typically has extra turbine stages to turn the fan. Turbofans were among the first engines to use multiple spools concentric shafts that are free to rotate at their own speed to let the engine react more quickly to changing power requirements. Turbofans are coarsely split into low bypass and high bypass categories. Bypass air flows through the fan, but around the jet core, not mixing with fuel and burning. The ratio of this air to the amount of air flowing through the engine core is the bypass ratio. Low bypass engines are preferred for military applications, such as fighters do, to high thrust to weight ratio while high-bypass engines are preferred for civil use for good fuel efficiency and low noise. High-bypass turbofans are usually most efficient when the aircraft is traveling at 500 to 550 miles per hour, the cruise speed of most large airliners. Low-bypass turbofans can reach supersonic speeds, though normally only when fitted with afterburners. The term advanced technology engine refers to the modern generation of jet engines. The principle is that a turbine engine will function more efficiently if the various sets of turbines can revolve at their individual optimum speeds instead of at the same speed. The true advanced technology engine has a triple spool, meaning that instead of having a single drive shaft, there are three, in order that the three sets of blades may revolve at different speeds. An interim state is a twin spool engine, allowing only to different speeds for the turbines. Pulse jets are mechanically simple devices that in a repeating cycle draw air through a no return valve at the front of the engine into a combustion chamber and ignite it. The combustion forces the exhaust gases out the back of the engine. It produces power as a series of pulses rather than as a steady output, hence the name. The only application of this type of engine was the German unmanned V-1 flying bomb of World War II, though the same engines were also used experimentally for Air's Ops fighter aircraft. The extremely loud noise generated by the engines caused mechanical damage to the airframe that was sufficient to make the idea unworkable. In the field of aviation, Progress is being made on a daily basis. A time will come when scientists dream of supersonic aviation will come true. Till then, see you in another video.